Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about my luxury skincare favorites of 2022. Now, I have tried out and used a lot of skincare in the past year, probably more than the average person, but this just gives me a pretty wide range of products that I have tested out. And today we're going to talk about my favorites of the year. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. A reference, I am 34 turning 35 very shortly. I have dry, dehydrated skin and I live in Montreal. So all those factors are influencing my skincare purchases and skincare needs. I will go ahead and include some timestamps in case the video ends up being a little bit longer, but I'm gonna to try to keep it short. So first off, there are two products that I tested out that I think are really great. The first one is from Clé de Peau and this is called The Serum. And the other one is from Shiseido and this is the Power Ultimune Concentrate. Both of these products act as a pre-serum. So you wash your face morning and night and before you go into anything, you use a couple of pumps of either one of these serums. If you're someone who has a hard time maintaining moisture and hydration in your skin, these products are indispensable because they just act as a booster of hydration for your skin. They soften your skin. It makes your skin a baby soft and smooth. And I love both of them, the one from Clé de Peau and the one from Shiseido. And I do find that they are quite dupes for each other. Like they're very much dupes for each other. The one thing is Clé de Peau is very, very pricey. It's Clé de Peau. And the one from Shiseido for me, I find is a bit more affordable for my everyday life. That being said, if you feel like splurging, if you have the money, go ahead and treat yourself. Treat yourself to Clé de Peau. Otherwise, get the Shiseido Power Ultimune Concentrate, in my opinion. Now for toners, uh, that would be the La Neige Cream Toner. This is wonderful. It's milky. It really feels like a liquefied moisturizer. When you apply it, it feels very hydrating, very moisturizing, very soothing and calming at the exact same time. It's just a great toner. I've bought many of those. The other toner would be the Violet FR Boom Boom Milk. This is very similar to La, La Neige. It's a creamy, milky toner. The, La, the Violet FR is only in a spray, so you can spray it directly or you can spray it in the palm of your hands and then press it on. Again, both of these are kind of dupes for each other where it's a cream toner. So it just instantly soothes and hydrates and just brings all of that gorgeous moisture and dewiness directly into the skin. Now let's move on to serums. So for serums, there are two products here that I've been using this year that I really love. And I don't think I've really ever seen anyone else talk about them online here on the uh, beauty YouTube sphere. This is from the brand called Clayton Chagall. I think this is a Canadian company and they don't really use, aff use affiliate links for whatever reason, but there are two products here and these are their gels. So the gels are moisturizing, but you can use them as a serum before you actually apply a moisturizer. And there's two in particular. The Elastin gel has elastin in it. And depending on the one you get, it either has 10 or 15% elastin in the gel and I applied that this morning. I find that their gels are incredibly calming. I am prone to some redness in the center of my face. It's just the way it is. I find that their gels from Clayton Chagall are just instantly calming, soothing, hydrating, all of that wonderful goodness. So the elastin is the gel you use in the morning. It's yellow, like the sun, so AM. And then at nighttime, I use the collagen gel. And this one, again, is either 10 or 15% collagen, depending on which one you purchase. And I just find that they're both wonderful at calming redness instantly, like right away, just like boom, calming redness. But they're just so deeply moisturizing and nourishing, and everything just looks gorgeous like instantly like everything is 
smoothed and hydrated and plumped and wonderful. And I love that there's collagen and elastin. I'm like, those are definitely things that I want to keep adding to my face. And so I love both. I get the duos. I get like both at the same time because I end up going through both of them, like uh, basically in tandem or at the same time, essentially. So I'll go ahead and put some affiliate links if I can find, I think they're sometimes on Amazon, but oftentimes you find this brand at a spa. You know, it's uh, something that estheticians use. It's not really something you see on social media. So I'll provide some links, but I don't think they use affiliate links. So I'll see what I can do. But if you have a spa near you that has them, they're really great. Next up are vitamin C serums. And there's two that I loved, one from SkinCeuticals and one from Drunk Elephant. I love both. Both of them are very, very liquidy. They're very watery and runny. So when you're taking the product out, it feels like water. So it is very fluid like water. The SkinCeuticals comes in a dropper. So you just take as much as you want. And then the Drunk Elephant one comes in a pump. The Drunk Elephant one, which, which is interesting, is when you purchase it, you get the powder and the liquid separate, and then you have to mix it and activate it yourself. So that may or may not influence your purchase, I don't know, but I like both. I find sometimes because I am prone to redness, my skin does react a bit to vitamin C. So what I do is I take my moisturizer in the palm of my hand, I take a bit of vitamin C, I mix them together and I apply because sometimes if I apply vitamin C directly on my skin, I get a bit irritated. Next up are two serums from Shantikai that I just have sort of had in my arsenal, in my, I was going to say pantry, but in my uh, medicine cabinet in my bathroom for a long time. And this is the Bio Lifting Plus Serum. And what is it called? The Blanc Gardenia Brightening Essence or Brightening Serum. So the BioLifting Plus is deeply hydrating and deeply moisturizing. It has a peptide blend to um, help with fine lines and wrinkles and just help smooth and lift and make you look beautiful. And the Blanc Gardenia is more for brightening, evening skin tone, giving you more of a beautiful, luminous, bright skin. I think it goes without saying that I am not wearing any makeup today. I'm wearing a bit of lip, uh, lip balm, but that's it. So this is what my skin looks like with all the products that I'm mentioning. And then there are two products as well. One is from U Beauty. This is the resurfacing compound. This has retinol, vitamin C, vitamin E, other peptides, hyaluronic acid. So it acts as a retinol at night. It's great for resurfacing. So if you have textures, if you have pores, now that I'm getting middle-aged, I'm noticing more dilated pores in the center of my skin. And so this is like a retexturizing serum. It's really great also for hyperpigmentation, sun damage, things like that. So I use this uh, in the evening as a retinol, but I also really love the retinol from Paula's Choice. And what's great is that both of these products here, they don't break me out or irritate my skin because I've tried other retinols that have given me basically acne or tons of redness and irritation. And both of these two, I find are just great for my skin. There's no redness, no irritation. I can use them on a regular basis without any issues whatsoever. Because what's the point of, you know, buying these skincare ingredients that are supposed to be good for you if all they're doing is irritating your skin. Now, moving on to moisturizers. Again, I have like a lot of uh, pairs of products here that kind of go hand in hand together or can be dupes for each other. So the first one is the Chantecai Rose de Mai face cream. This is a beautiful, lightweight, daytime moisturizer. It has a lovely rose scent. It feels a little bit more like a gel cream texture. It's beautiful, it's hydrating, it's lightweight. It's a gorgeous moisturizer as well as the NARS Light Reflecting Moisturizer. Both are daytime moisturizers for me, and they both have more of a lightweight gel texture. I would say maybe the NARS one is a little bit more brightening, but I think they're both great. They both have a really lovely texture. Now for the evening, I found a true gem. This is the Biosense Omega Repair Cream. 
This is one of the best moisturizers I've ever tried. I use this more for the evening, but in the winter, sometimes I use it a little bit in the daytime when it's super harsh and cold. This is such a gorgeous, reparative, restorative night cream. When you apply this in the evening, when you wake up the next morning, your skin still looks so plump, so moisturized, so juicy, and just so wonderful. So it really is this repair cream. It's in the word like Omega Repair, and a lot of brands use fancy words, but this actually is reparative, restorative, regenerative. The next morning, everything just looks really nice and plump and hydrated, so this one here is amazing. And then the other night cream that you could get instead is the Chanel Le Lift night cream. Now I do like the Chanel Le Lift night cream, but if I had to get just one, I would get the one from Biosense. I just think it's that much better. Like it's just, it was really, really one of those like, wow, I look so much better after using it. So if you prefer Chanel, go with Chanel, but if you want just like the most performative night cream, go with Biosense. And this year, I also started getting into neck creams. Yes, nice contoured firm neck is always something everyone wants. I have been loving the Bare Minerals Phyto uh, Retinol Night Cream. So this is a neck cream with retinol in it. So you don't have to add a retinol to your neck if you're using that. You can just go ahead and do the neck. I do the chest at the same time. Make sure everything is matching, everything is hydrated, everything is firm. So this one here is a great neck cream. It's a bit thicker than a regular moisturizer because you wanna make sure everything here is nice and moisturized. So it has retinol in it, which is great for your skin and just a really great neck cream. And they also have the Phyto Retinol in other products as well from the brand, but the neck cream was my favorite. For the eyes, it's really short and simple. It is the Murad Vitamin C Dark Spot Corrector. This actually works. It erases dark circles, dark spots. If you're someone who always has dark circles under their eyes, try the uh, vitamin C serum from Murad. It actually works. It's amazing. I've purchased multiples. I'm gonna keep purchasing forever because it's just great. And then also the Shansakai Stress Repair Plus. It's just great. I use it all the time. I use it around my eyes. I use it on my expression lines because it is a stress repair concentrate plus, so you can use it on your eyes or anywhere else. If you have like 11s, anywhere you get little expression lines, you can just dot a little bit morning and night. Facial oils. I love a couple of drops of facial oils morning and night, just seals all of that goodness in. Remember that experiment we did in middle school where you tried to mix water and oil? They don't mix, so when you add a face oil after you've done everything, it seals in all of the serums, all of the moisturizers, everything gets sealed in and protected from the harsh exterior. And my favorite one is the Chantecaille Rose de Mai. I've also enjoyed the Chanel Jasmine face oil, but the one that I keep going to the most is one from Chantecaille, the Rose de Mai. I love it, it's just, it's lightweight. It isn't going to break you out. It isn't going to make you look greasy or oily. It's just a nice little finishing touch that once you get used to it, you can't really um, stop using. For masks, it's very concise. It's either the Chanel Hydra Beauty Repair Mask, which feels like this nice, almost waxy texture that acts as a sealant. Again, it just, it feels thick, but not too thick but it feels very restorative, very reparative, very cocooning as well. And so if you're having like a harsh winter climate, it's just, it's wonderful. You can wear it during the day with makeup, just wear a little bit less, like a more sheer application or at night for a nice spa night at home or the Chantecai Jasmine and Lily Healing Mask. That one is just my favorite. I, I like other masks from Chantecai, but this one's my favorite. It's brightening. Like whenever I wear that the night before, I always go, go on camera and you guys are like, wow, your skin looks so bright. I'm like, yeah, it's the Jasmine and Lily Healing Mask. It's soothing, it's calming, it's brightening. It's oh, it's so nice. For exfoliators, I have two. I have the Shotokai Hibiscus Smoothing Mask. I have purchased, I don't know how many of that I've purchased, honestly. It's a exfoliating mask. So you leave it on your skin for several minutes 
and just by leaving it on your skin it just eats away all the dead skin cells all the debris all the pollution all the gunk and leaves your skin so soft and baby smooth and ready for whatever mask you want to apply afterwards if i can't be bothered to apply a mask and wash it off because sometimes even that is too much work i go into my drunk elephant tlc from boost glycolic resurfacing night serum so this is an overnight um, exfoliator so you use a couple of pumps you apply it onto dry skin face neck and chest and I only do this like once or twice a week if you have again I have dry dehydrated skin but if you have oilier skin types you can use it more often I think on the website there, there's a, um, a guide depending on your skin type how often you should use it but it has exfoliating properties it has an AHA blend salicylic acid it has also uh, raspberry fruit extracts and fruit and flowers are actually used often for exfoliating like the hibiscus smoothing mask they use hibiscus and papaya enzymes to exfoliate the skin drunk elephant uses raspberry leaf and other um, exfoliating properties overnight i like both of them i think they're really nice i find that the drunk elephant is a bit better for pores if i'm noticing my pores look a bit clogged. I, I like that one a little bit more, but either one are great. Makeup removers, because I love wearing makeup, but honestly, removing my makeup at the end of the day is one of my greatest pleasures in life. Just ugh, getting everything off my face. I love the Pharmacy Green Clean. I have purchased, I honestly couldn't tell you how many I've purchased. Every Sephora sale, I buy the biggest one on sale and just keep it, um, in my pantry again in my bathroom until i need it because it's just wonderful it breaks down everything mascara waterproof liner foundation uh, liquid lipstick everything gets taken off you just massage it nicely then you add a few drops of water and it just emulsifies it cleans everything off it's wonderful and then i also tried this new product from you beauty this is the skin conditioning wash and this is similar except somehow it's a combination of makeup cleanser and makeup wash at the same time like you don't actually have to do a double cleanse with this one here like it's a makeup remover and a cleanser two in one which was really i was really surprised i was really skeptical they sent it to me and i was like extremely skeptical i was like i don't think it's gonna work it actually works it actually removes all the makeup and i've done tests with like a cotton pad afterwards to see if i had any residue or anything like that it actually works. So if you want a two-in-one, a makeup remover and a cleanser, you have the U Beauty Skin Conditioning Wash. It actually works. For cleansers, I loved the Drunk Elephant Best Jelly Cleanser. I think it's Best Number 9, something like that. It's a jelly cleanser. There's no bells. There's no whistles. It's a really nice, soft gel cleanser. It doesn't strip, you never feel tight, you never feel dry, it just cleans everything nicely a little bit morning and night and just leaves you looking gorgeous and it's called like the best cleanser for a reason, it just really works. If you're feeling a little bit fancy, there's also the Clé de Peau Softening Mousse Cleanser. This is really nice, it makes your skin really soft. It, this one here is a mousse, so it's thicker. It has a different texture. Sometimes texture is a really big deal. Again, this one here cleanses everything nicely. It doesn't strip, doesn't dry down. Just leaves you looking radiant and beautiful. And I also really loved the new Lo Mousse from Chanel. This is a pump. And when you pump it, it comes out in a big billowy mousse. And when you cleanse your skin, again, everything looks nice and clean and fresh. And again, it's not stripping because Lo Mousse is part of their like more sensitive skincare line. So those three were great, wonderful, highly recommend them. Depends on which texture you prefer. Do you prefer a gel, a mousse, or a billowy foam? What do you prefer? Leave a comment down below. And last but not least, we have a sunscreen. So the first one is the Shiseido Urban Environment, and that's what I'm wearing today. I find that this uh, sunscreen almost acts as a primer because it has the slightest little tint. It's not a tinted makeup product or anything like that. It just, it isn't completely a white cast. It has a little bit of something there. So if you want 
an excellent SPF before you apply makeup. Get the Shiseido Urban Environment. It dries down instantly. It's oil-free as well, which is very important. So it's oil-free. If you're prone to breakouts, if you have oily skin, get this one here because it dries down almost powdery. It's oil-free, but also not drying. It's really wonderful. I also love the U Beauty Multi Modal Defender. This one here is pricey. This one here is a thicker consistency. It comes in almost like a paste. It comes in a jar and you have to scoop it out. This one here is sunscreen, but also sunspot, dark spot, corrector at the same time. Like it isn't just an SPF. You can use it as a moisturizer. If you want a two-in-one product, if you can't be bothered to apply a moisturizer and then a sunscreen on top, you can actually use the U Beauty one by itself because it isn't just an SPF. It also has skincare benefits in it and it's also moisturizing. The U Beauty one, if you have oily skin, you're gonna hate it because it's gonna be too rich for you. But if you have dry, mature skin, I think you would enjoy the U Beauty. And last but not least, the Kiehl's Super Fluid Facial SPF. This is absolutely no bells, no whistles. It's just a very fluid, runny face SPF. There's really nothing else to it. It's really basic, but it's, it's really wonderful. I wear it all the time underneath makeup. It doesn't pill, it doesn't roll. I've bought this one a lot and I often get it during the Sephora sales because as long as you don't open them, they're going to be good for a few months until you need to use them. And I think that's it. I think I've run the gauntlet of skincare that I loved from last year. Let me know if I missed any categories. I would love to hear from you in the comments. If you're not aware, I have an online beauty consulting service. It's a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me where you get to pick my brain and get my undivided attention. So if you'd like some advice, some personalized advice on what skincare works best for you, go ahead and book a session today. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what were some of your favorites from last year, skincare wise. I can't wait to hear from you because we all have different skin types, different skincare needs. So these were some of my favorites and let me know if you've used some of these and what your thoughts are. So on that note, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.